With over 70 million music tracks and more than 3 million podcast titles, it's easy to understand why Spotify is the most listened to streaming service. In this video, I'll show you 10 tips and tricks that will improve your overall experience using Spotify on iOS, Android, Mac OS, and Windows. Coming up next on TechUmbo. Being able to download your playlist for offline use is useful for those times that you lose internet access. Here's how you do it. On the desktop app for Windows and Mac, go to your library to see all your playlists. Right click on the playlist that you'd like to access offline and select download. All the songs from that playlist will now be downloaded to your computer to access at any time using the Spotify desktop app. Downloading your playlist is especially handy on mobile using the iOS and Android apps. For example, on a recent road trip, we traveled through areas that had no cell service at all and we were still able to listen to our music. To download your playlist for offline use on your mobile device, at the very bottom, tap on Your Library. Tap on the playlist. Select the three-dot menu icon. Then tap on Download. After being downloaded, the playlist will be available on your mobile device, even when you're offline using the Spotify app. Whenever you create a playlist, Spotify by default uses the album cover art from the songs in your playlist. In the desktop app, to change the playlist cover art, using an image saved to your computer, go to your library and select a playlist that you created. Hover your mouse cursor over the cover image and select Choose Photo. Go find the image on your computer, select it, and click on Open. And then click on Save. This will give you a new cover image for that playlist. In the mobile app to change the cover image of the playlist you created, go to your library and tap on the playlist. Select the menu icon and tap on Edit Playlist. Just below the image, tap on Change Image then select Choose Photo. Go find the image on your device and tap on it to change the playlist cover image. And then select here at the bottom, Use Photo. This tip is only available on the Android and iOS apps. Spotify uses an algorithm to suggest music artists that you might like. It's far from perfect. If you want to stop an artist from appearing or playing in Spotify, tap on Search here at the bottom. Then here at the top, type the name of the artist that you want to skip. When it appears, tap on the name of the artist. Here on the main page for that artist, tap on the menu icon. Then select Don't Play This. If you ever change your mind, you can always go back to that artist's main page, open the menu, and tap on Allow to Play This. If you listen to podcasts on Spotify and you heard something interesting that you'd like to share with someone else, using a timestamp can be very beneficial. This feature is only available in the mobile apps for iOS and Android. If the podcast is playing, pause it at the point you want to share and tap on the share icon. Where it says share from and the time, toggle the switch on. With it turned on, select one of the sharing options listed below to send the link. Whether you're hosting a party or any other situation to keep the music playing without any gaps in between songs, you'll want to use Spotify's crossfade feature to blend the beginning and end of each song. On desktop, click on your profile in the upper right and select Settings. Scroll down to the playback section and toggle the switch on for crossfade songs. A slider will appear to set the crossfade from 1 to 12 seconds. I find anywhere from 3 to 5 seconds works very well. Let's go with three. In the mobile app to set a crossfade, tap on settings in the upper right. Scroll down to the playback section and adjust the crossfade slider to whatever you want. If you don't want a certain music artist, playlist, or anything else you're listening to on Spotify to mess up your recommendations, or don't want your friends that follow you to see what you're currently listening to, you'll want to start a private session to listen anonymously. It's easy to do on the desktop app. In the upper right, Click on your profile name and select Private Session. You'll now see the lock icon here at the top indicating that you're in a private session. With it active, nobody will know 
about your secret obsession with boy bands from the 90s. To activate a private session in the mobile app, it's not as simple. Go to Settings, scroll down to Social. It's about three quarters of the way down. Tap on the switch to enable the private session. There are certain music artists that refuse to have their music on streaming services or may be exclusive to another service other than Spotify. I'll now show you how to add local files on your computer to the Spotify desktop app. Click on your profile name and go to settings. In local files, switch on the toggle for show local files. My sources have already been added. If you'd like to add a source from your computer, click on add a source to select the folders that can be accessed by the Spotify app. After being selected, they'll be listed under show songs from. When going to your library, you'll see the songs listed in local files. These tracks can also be added to any playlist you've created. In the mobile app to add audio files, go to settings. Scroll down to local files. Switch on the toggle next to show audio files from this device. This will add all audio tracks found on your phone or tablet into a local files folder found in your library. If you're the type of person that enjoys listening to music as you fall asleep, you can set the audio to stop at a specific period of time you selected. Available on iOS and Android only, to set a sleep timer, tap on the now playing bar. Then in the upper right, select the three dot icon. Scroll down and tap on sleep timer. You can set it from five minutes up to one hour or end of track. Let's go with 15 minutes. If you have a large amount of content in your library, it might be easier for you to pin your favorite playlists, albums, artists, or podcasts to the top of your library. To do this in the Spotify mobile app, swipe right on the content that you want pinned. And here it is near the top. To unpin it, swipe right again. Up to four items can be pinned at a time, and strangely, this feature is not available in the desktop app. If you have a lot of playlists, Using the desktop app for Windows and Mac only, you can create folders to help keep your content more organized. In the left pane, right-click on any playlist and select Create Folder. Right-click on that folder and select Rename. I'll call this one Decades. Also from the left pane, left-click and drag the associated playlist into the new folder. While you can't create folders on mobile yet, they'll show up in your library in the Spotify app. Here's a bonus tip for you. I'll show you a couple advanced search terms you can use on both the desktop and mobile apps. Go to search and to find music from an artist for a specific time period, type artist, colon, in quotes, the name of the artist, followed by year, colon, and in quotes, the time period. Go over to Songs and select See All. Or if you just wanted music for a period of time, including all artists, type the following, year, colon, and it quotes the period of time. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you have a tip or trick for Spotify not mentioned, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and ring that bell to get notified about our latest tips and tricks videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Combo.